start with some economic data, very important economic data that was broken this morning. China's annual economic growth has now slowed to 7.5% for the second quarter, bringing with it overall growth for the first six months of the year down to 7.6%. This, remember, has been the second straight quarter of slower growth. The data was released this morning at a news conference at the National Information Office, and our Biz Asia reporter Yin Hang was there attending that press conference. He now joins us live. Uh, give us the details, Yin Hang. Yes, Doug, like you've mentioned, it's been the th uh, two consecutive quarter of slowdown, and China's uh, gross domestic product slowed to 7.5% year-on-year in the second quarter of this year. Sheng Laoyun, which is a spokesman of China's National Bureau of Statistics, says that it's because China adopted a serious of regulatory policy to boost its economic restructuring. Meanwhile, China's overseas market demand remained continued to be weak. And for more, listen to this. Figures released by the National Bureau of Statistics show that China's gross domestic product grew 7.5% in the April to June period this year. It was a slight slowdown from the 7.7% the economy logged in the first quarter. The statistic agency attributes China's economic restructuring and weak overseas demand as the major causes for the slowdown. A slowdown in economic growth represents lower productivity, and lower productivity is not unique in China. Economies that are undergoing economic transformation will all face that problem. Meanwhile, we continue to face international challenges. A global recovery is progressing at a slow pace, and also the slowdown is a result of a regulatory policy adopted to change China's growth model and push forward restructuring. Previous data show that China's export fell for the first time in 17 months. Meanwhile, the country's factory gate deflation also persists in 16 consecutive months. That all backs the view that the country's economic growth is losing momentum. China's economic growth is stable. Its economic restructuring is processing. China's economic transformation is gaining momentum steadily. Meanwhile, new jobs are increasing. Overall, China met its growth target of 7.5 percent in the first half of the year. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang has been prominent in pushing for economic reform over fast-line growth, suggesting the government is in no rush to offer fresh stimulus to revive an economy in a protracted slowdown. He's also calling for the country's banking sectors to better use its stockpile of capital to speed up economic restructuring while cutting industry overcapacity. The Chinese government has set a 7.5 percent growth target for 2013. Yang, CCTV, Beijing.